Hi and welcome to another product presentation from TIS. Today we're going to be focusing on our TIS 1900 thermal imaging camera which is an 80 by 80 pixel thermal imaging camera and is affordable for most electrical contractors. So let's take you through some of the settings on the camera. So as you can see on the front of the screen, we've got an S, we've got an H, and we've got a C. So S is the center spot temperature, H is the hottest part of the screen, and C is the coldest part of the screen. So if we look at this heater we've got here, you can see there, the hottest temperature is 135 bouncing around and the coldest part is coming off away from the heater. If I wanted to take a picture of that, that's done. When I download that at a later stage, it'll actually have a digital five megapixel uh, image as well as the thermal image. So again, if you've taken a lot in a factory, at least when you come to downloading it, you can see exactly what you were looking at. And we can save that and that saves it onto the SD card. What I can also do is I can hold the trigger down and that now is recording my voice. So again, you could say I'm at distribution board one looking at arcing on this particular MCB. And when you've finished recording, all you do is just simply click the trigger again and that saves the voice recording that you've done. And you can listen that back through with headphones and send that on to your client as well uh, if you want to send him a video. What we've also got on the settings is on measure there, we can turn off the hot and cold if you wanted to do. If you just wanted to look at the spot, you can see I've got all three on. That's what there is in the measure. If we go into the emissity setting here, obviously every surface has a different reflective temperature. So if you know what you're looking at, if you click on there, if you're looking at water or stainless steel, aluminium, concrete, etc., you can change that or even if you know it's not in the settings and you know the emissivity uh, reflective temperature, you can actually type in your own. Image. So again, if I want to come off IR and I want to go full visible, I can go full visible. So that's a full five megapixel digital image. If I want to fuse the two, so I want to go IR and thermal, I can do that as well. So you can see it's got a thermal imager in the middle and it's got a digital on the outside. What I can also do is change the palette so it's set to iron, I can go rainbow so the hot spots become red and the cold spots become blue so you can change the palette colour. You can also change the range so if you wanted to go into minus temperatures, minus 20 to 150 or 0 to 300 degrees you can change that in there as well. And settings you can just put the date and time and various things in there as well. So that's the actual camera itself. It comes with a lithium ion battery in there with an SD card as well. You will get about five hours continuous use from that lithium ch charge before you need to charge it. It takes about an hour to charge up. You can see the accessories that you get. You get a bag, you obviously get the SD card and all the bits and bobs you, you need for obviously downloading. It comes with the software. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a, leave a link to a PDF at the end of this video so you can see one that I've done and downloaded earlier. That's our TIS 1900 thermal imaging camera. Hope you found it informative. Thanks for watching as always.